Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Skylar Reacts. Or if it's your first time, welcome to Skylar Reacts. Today, we got 20 most brutal hits in NHL history. All right. So this, listen, people think that American football is like one of the toughest, hardest, bro. Hockey is a different level. All right. Hockey is a different level. You, you're literally on ice standing on blades, bro. It's a different level. And we're going to check it out. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the fam. And yeah, let's get it, man. From brutal hip checks Damn, to refs bro. getting the rip. murdered, these are the 20 most brutal hits in NHL history. And All right. first, the time Dan Hamu sent another player on a ride. Because during Ooh. a close game of the Stanley Cup final, Lucic went against Hamus, and the rest was history. To Milan, Lucic, Damn. Damn. Bro, he literally made him do a cartwheel. Dan Hamus went down and... Though the Bruin players went after Hamus, that it was so brutal it even got himself injured. But at least oh, really? dude didn't almost kill another man, like our 19th moment. Because even though Luchik took a deep before, his hit against Mike Van Ryn was close to assassination. Going into the corner. Oh my God, bro! They broke the glass. Mike Van Ryn was close to assassination. Going into the corner. Oh, oh my God, bro! Mike Van Ryan on the receiving end of that. So what, ha so what happens to, like, the fans in the crowd? Because that's glass. You can get cut unless it's, like, some type of, like, plucks. Like, or some type of, like, I don't know, like, high-tech glass or whatnot. But I'm pretty sure at least one person got cut. So what happened then? Do they get, like, a free ticket or, like, you know, like... Because I would want to be compensated. I have glass all over me. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Yikes, dude had cuts all over his face. No wonder fans were going wild. But to be honest, if there's anyone that's wild, it's got to be Alexander Ovechkin. You know, the crazy Russian without any teeth. Usually he spends most of his time getting on the score sheet, but this time he had his eyes set on a different target. Oh, Wilson tumbles it towards the zone, but Schmidt turns oh. away. And then Ovechkin throws a thunderous hit. Alex Ovechkin has 78 hits. Mind you, it doesn't look like much, right? But trust me, that's a hard impact that's a hard impact it doesn't look like much but that's a hard impact yeah bro literally laid no sec out and not a single one of his teammates were out there to back him up that might be worse Damn. than the actual hit it's one thing to get taken out by ovenchkin but imagine getting hip checked so hard you start doing circus tricks got to clear upended oh. by orloff what a bro this is not gymnastics what the hell this is not tumbling Bro, he's literally tumbling on ice. That's how hard he got hit. It's tricks. Got to the clear. Duchesne, oh. by Bro, that's a front flip. What a hip check. You rarely see them anymore. That Imagine if he had best. landed at. Oh my god. Bro literally did a front flip and no one even cared. Well, facts. I told you one player made a hit so badly, it got him sued. See, a few years back, in really? a game between the Nashville Predators and the Calgary Flames, every player was heated up. But things got a whole lot more interesting. Interesting Damn. in the second period when wide men got hit with a nasty tackle for the back. Now, I don't know if the tackle ended up dazing him or what's going on because what he did after almost cost him his career. Really? And then the line's been down at center ice. Oh, so that's what happened. Okay, so I, I think my last NHL like reaction was like refs getting hit, and I think this clip was part of it. Oh. Damn, he intentionally. Damn, there was bro. a collision there between one of the flames. Oh yeah, that was and Don uncalled Henderson for. Is down. It was after that things started to take a nasty turn. Cause Weinman didn't only brutally cross-check the referee, he also showed zero remorse for the incident. The referee in the league obviously took that personally, and you could tell things were about to get nasty. The league Damn. handed Weinman a 10-game suspension, and the ref took. That's it. 10 game suspension for assaulting a ref. Now, let me you know what I'm gonna just let them cook and see what else they're gonna add on because 10 games only to get nasty. The league handed Weidman a 10 game suspension, and the ref took legal actions claiming he was so busted up he wouldn't be able to work for years. But the judge ultimately came with a wild rule. See, so me to tell me. That push can put you down for years from not working. All right, see now, see now, this can be like, this is just being petty and it's going after the money, which I don't blame you because he didn't assault you. So I don't blame you. But at the same time, it's like, 
years. That's kind of pushing it, bro. At this point, you're being too greedy. <laughs> he told the referee straight up, you were only cross-checked man up. Hell, the ref was even forced to pay Weidman's legal fees. That's a huge L, man. First getting smacked from behind and paying him? That's wild. But yeah. not as wild as Tory <laughs> Crew, because one second he's down without a helmet, the next? Bro, nah, 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 nah. Nah, this guy is a crash out dump. Bro, he is going full ham at someone without a helmet. He's going to tackle someone without a helmet. Bro, God damn. Without a helmet? That has to be one of the cleanest hits of all time. What? But it can't be knocking your opponent and the ref with one blow. Pawns it off there. Oh, Ovechkin destroyed through two. Alex Ovechkin wasn't Damn. too happy to lose his balance. So he... Wow. Bro had his cheeks all over the place. But imagine getting hit so bad you get clowned by the entire world. And the vision is pretty good. Said uh, not too bad. Yeah, there it's are not areas, perfect. right? Yeah. And oh, one push was knocked down. Wait, by... Wait that, isn't that like an illegal? You can't do that to the goalie, right? You can't just, uh, you can't just hit the goalie. I don't hear a whistle or anything. Eakin. <laughs> he sold it. Oh Look at God. that. Look at that. Never get to see his hair on, on the ice, that's why. <laughs> Man, that hit was so clean, even his teammates started clowning him. But at least Lundquist got to keep his Damn. hair so he could make all them commercials for head and shoulders. Because one guy has become <laughs> such a villain, companies won't even get close to him. It was the Stanley Cup final, Knights versus Capitals. And both teams knew they had to play their hearts out. I mean, it's the Stanley Cup final. Players knew there's no time to fuck around. And in the third period, with the score all time, 4-4? Four, four? Oh, this is a good game. What? For a finals? 4-4? Four, four? You have eight goals? Oh, yeah. This is one of those. Tied up. Tom Wilson did this. Marcia <laughs> Riley Smith. And Marcia Sow's down here. And hurt and needs some help. And so the play is down. Oh, my God. That's like that the worst type of brutal. hits when you don't even see it really coming. Night-night. But in all seriousness, that blindside could have sent Marcia Sow straight to the hospital. Yeah. So it's no surprise that the whole stadium was losing it. The NHL eventually released a statement saying they weren't going to suspend Wilson. Um, are you serious? What happened on the Tom Wilson hit? I have the puck. I mean, uh, try to make a play. I see that puck going away a couple seconds late and I mean, I don't really have to talk about it. I think the league's gonna take care of it. Yeah. Sorry about that. Seems like the NHL will let Wilson keep holding these brutal hits without any suspensions. One player almost got killed. Side of the... so... Close the schools. There's no He just swung the stick to his face, bro. You see? You see? Listen, I'm going to have to be at Gill Arenas. I have my gun in the locker room. There's no way you're going to hit me with a stick in my face or in my helmet, and I'm not crashing out. Bro, forget a career. Forget sponsorships, bro. I'm crashing out. I'm crashing out. There's no way you're hitting my face where your stick and shit is sweet. I'm Swear to God, I'm crashing out. There's no way. About that, seems like the NHL will let Wilson keep holding these brutal hits without any suspensions. One player almost got killed. Like, bro, what? So, oh, is down face first as Char angled him, and Pacioretty was... Dude literally shoved him into the bar and didn't even have the decency to check on him afterwards. He got knocked out? I think his face hit the corner of the, like, where the, um... Because he got hit right in front of the bench. So, you know, like, the bench doesn't have, like, the glass. So, I think his face or his head hit the glass. Like, his down face like right there. You see, like, this red? Oh, my God, bro. His char angled him. And Pacioretty was... Dude literally shoved him into the bar and didn't even have the decency to check on him afterwards. That's crazy. But not all hits need to be life or Damn. death. Nicholas Cronwall shows why he has Wall in his last name. Stepping up, oh, Owen Cronwall with a big hit. Oh boy. Mm. Oh my 
my god! Bro told him to sit his ass down! And now that we've reached pass number 10, uh, let's take this to a whole new level. And what a better way than to start with a time Trevor Linden sent one player out the stadium! So that's where the Memorial Cup got underway today. Damn. I'm guessing that they replace the glass immediately, like when it breaks, it'll say like replace it and like obviously you have to like take like a 20 minute like break whatnot to replace the glass, but do they replace it like right away? Let me know. Cause I've never been to like an a hockey game or you know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments. Right into the crowd. The hit in itself was brutal. But you Damn. gotta be proud of Trevor, who actually tries helping Norton out of that messy situation. Hitting Good someone through glass shit, is cool and all, but one player had the balls to go toe to toe Damn. with Alexander Ovechkin. And Ovechkin flanks Marshan. Talk about a major collision here. Marshan Damn. gets it and steps up in front of Marshan. And then Marshan hey, back. hit from behind on Ovechkin. And then Marshan finishes. I, uh, I don't even know. I like that energy. Pay back. I like that energy. I like that energy. Don't let anyone bully you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I like that energy. Know what to say? Hitting a toothless Russian, bro, has a death wish. Anyways, for number seven is a hit I just can't explain. Spees it around for Larson. Paul and him lined up, and he felt it, and then Larson's down and maybe out. Fight, fight, fight. But it's not fight. even the hit that was dangerous. It was the aftermath. That oh no! See, see, see. I think I have seen this before. I clip. I think I reacted to this clip before. Listen, right? Number sixty. You're the worst teammate ever. Twenty-one. You're the worst teammate ever. Eighty-five or whatever the number is. You're the worst teammate ever. There's no way you're stepping around my whole body with blades on, and I'm under you, bro. Like the first thing you should worry about is my health, bro. There's like 10 guys wearing blades on their, underneath their foot. Stepping around my face, head, limbs, everything. The number one thing y'all should do is pull me away or make sure like I'm safe. This is unacceptable, bro. Like teammates, bro. Like I know you're crashing out, but bro, he's on the ground. Help him out, bro. That was scary as hell. Like look how oh, close man. that is. Yes, there is. Like that was honestly a close. Like his like watched his head right and watches the teammate skate it's not even a teammate but an opponent team you see like that blade could have literally slice bro i'm telling you like come on man oh man like, like that was honestly a close call bro was out cold with skates like, that close to his neck crazy that's what I'm, bro, the worst teammates ever, bro. Like, that's on call for. Easy, but not as crazy as number six, where one player made such a dirty hit, it had everyone losing their shit. Looking for Cousins there. He oh, big oh, hit oh, on the Braves and The Braves gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. Fight, the craziest fight. part was that this hit had Cousins fear for his life. Cuz Good Branson made it his life decision to get his revenge. I don't know if it was his Viking roots, but man was I on think a mission. Yeah, he's broken. Respect to that guy. Respect to that guy. Bro, who is him? Bro, who is that guy? Revenge. I don't know if it was his. Bro, 44, bro, you have my respect. You just gain a fan, man. You just gain a fan. This man wanted blood. I respect it. His Viking roots, but man was on a <laughs> mission. Viking roots. Yeah, I like that. Is okay. That's a that's a suspension right there. I mean, grab by the head, slam yeah. to the ice, and then punch it's worth every penny. Every penny. Down. Yeah. Oh, Erica, Erica Branson had no. My God, man, that was yeah, literally beating penny. the living shit out of him. So first of all, the hit by Cousins is extremely dirty. So we've been talking about this forever. Jeez, you can't hit from behind. And no, not only does he hit, he launches himself at Good Branson. So I understand why Good Branson Damn, is extreme. Bro, like you got hit twice technically because your impact, your face, everything hit the wall. And then the opponent body also hit your body into the wall again. So you technically got hit like three times. Like that's that's enough. 
that's enough evidence for you to crash out. <laughs> Only does he hit, he launches himself at like Branson. So I understand yeah, why Branson is out. extremely mad. And I understand why later he went after him and fought him. I don't get why he's given a suspension and nothing happens to Cousins. This is something that I think the league has to address. I can't believe they didn't suspend Thanks, Cousins bro. for longer. That's wild. Not as wild as number five. Because remember the wall? And that one went off Lano's stick and wide. He's KO. Oh, damn. God damn. Bro was out cold. But for number four, we got to rewind God the time. Damn. It was game three of the Stanley Cup final. Boston versus Vancouver. And with Vancouver winning the first two games, Boston knew it was a do or die game. That's when everything changed. Oh, nah. That was a dirty play, bro. He didn't even have the puck. The puck was gone like five seconds ago. <laughs> that was a super dirty play, bro. When everything changed. What? Oh, man. This one's a whole lot of nasty. See, that hit didn't just give Aaron Rome a four game suspension. It four changed only? the whole outcome of the finals. Because that's when Boston realized they needed to go back to old school hockey, which eventually made them win game three. Ooh. Game four. Games. No way. Suspension. It changed the whole outcome of the finals. Just give it. This one's so Boston was like, oh, y'all want to play dirty. Y'all want to play dirty. All right, we're going to take it back to when when shit was really, really physical. All right. All right, cool. We got it. We got it. See, they messed up. They messed up. Whoever team this is, they messed up. Cause they just woke in a beast within Boston. They messed up. See, that hit didn't just give Aaron Rome a four-game suspension. It changed the whole outcome of the finals. Because that's when Boston realized they needed to go back to old-school hockey, which eventually mm. made them win game three. Whoop the ass. Game four. Whoop the ass. Game six. Whoop the ass. And in the final game seven, Boston bounced Vancouver with a 4-0 win, securing a a 4 0. <laughs> yeah. Another Stanley Cup. I never, ever thought I'd see one hit change a Stanley Cup final. But at number three, well, one hockey is so underrated. Cleaned out. Blues coming running back at Sunquist. Whoa. As oh. he gets cleaned out by Wilson. Sunquist stays down. Bro, he had a grown man look like a fidget spinner. This guy probably weighed like 250, 260 wet. Bro, like this man's probably. He made him look like a fidget spinner for like two seconds. <laughs> Quist, whoa. As he gets cleaned out by Wilson, Sunquist stays down. And a host of At least that hit didn't put Sunquest completely out. Because at ass. number two, one player got blindsided so Ooh. badly, they had to roll him out. See, David Booth had worked his whole life to reach the NHL. And what happened during this game would eventually change his life forever. Oh. Here comes David Booth. He has the Panther goal tonight. Oh, did he get hit hard? Is down. I got hit hard up. A high. shoulder to the head, yeah. Whose face is blank, just laying there on the ice. That's scary. Not even Booth remembers the hit. Since that hit, Booth has had a lot of mental health issues, which eventually forced him out. Damn, bro. You imagine working so hard to finally accomplish your dream, and then for some dirty ass player to come and take that away from you, bro. Like that's like, oh my god, man, that's so messed up. And plus, you have mental problems after the fact, bro. You gotta sue, bro. Where's, where's the lawyers at, bro? You gotta sue them, bro. Even Booth remembers the hit. Since that hit, Booth has had a lot of mental health issues, which Damn, eventually man. forced him out of the NHL. It's crazy to think how one hit can change not just your career, but your whole life. But even though that hit was wild, our number one spot is impossible to describe. Our number one. First, the net is empty. Can he tuck it in? Surprise, but man. That hit was brutal. And 
No wonder the Canadian players lost With their the cool. Evans. But in the mix of it, there was one player that made this clip top our list. See, if you closely look, you see number 27. Yeah, uh, that's Nikolai to... Ehlers. And what he's doing during this brawl is a one of a kind. He sees that Jake Evans is completely knocked. And he's doing everything in his power to protect. Mad Bro, someone give this guy a raise, bro. Someone gave him a sponsorship or something, bro. We need some more civilized people that have some type of IQ because, like, you see, he did the right thing. The other guy's crashing out. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Respect. What's even more crazy, though, is that Mark Shifley had the guts to say this. What your reaction was when you were informed it would be four games. Yeah, I think it was pretty excessive. Um, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was, I was pretty shocked. Yeah, Mark be smoking that. Bro, you literally give someone mental health. You literally ruin someone's career. What do you mean? A four-game suspension was too was excessive. Bro, at least you're able to play in hockey. At least you're able to continue your career. The guy that you hit, his life is over with. With permanent brain damage, bro. Like, come on. You can't be selfish. Like, that... After seeing that, bro, if I was the owner of a team, bro, he me, he me I don't care if he's a star player, he immediately getting cut, bro. Like, off of my team, bro. Like, we don't need a type of energy or type of people on my team. And I'm definitely not paying someone like that, bro. Hell no. But anyway, that's it for this reaction. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you for the next one.